Time to let the animals out. Let's go, come on. Come on, Bear, good girl. This way. Come on, Bear. Hey, this way, Bear, let's go, come on. Come on, Bear. Old Bear, bye. She's a bit of a wanderer. Bear, come on. Come on, Bear. Let's go. It's a bit icy here today, guys. We had some rain a few days back and real slippery. Come on, Bear. So it's nice to get off that icy road and onto the trail here where the snow is not so slippery. And I can put these big snowshoes to use. Big bear pods there. Come on! Come on, Zach! Good boy, let's go, Bear! You know his beer's not coming. Tough chance. <laughs> Atta boy, Zach. Come on, Bear. Let's go, girl. Come on. Hey. Come on. Alright, guys. What's going on today? Hope you're all doing well. Back out in the woods again. Some good news for you. I'm going to be doing my first subscriber giveaway. Uh, so it's long overdue and I'll talk about that now in a bit. But uh, first things first, going to get a fire going and uh, get all set up here. So this, guys, <coughs> before I start my fire, is a beautiful little fire kit I was given by a fellow Newfoundland YouTuber, Kirk North of 51. I'll put his link below if you want to go check out his channel. But he dumbed me off this beautiful little leather pouch with a bunch of fire starting materials in there, uh, some birch bark, old man's beard, a real classic when it's dry, uh, some some shavings, some fat wood, uh, little splits, even threw a candle in there. So, nice little kit. Uh, he's got a compressed towel. I must have looked dirty in some of my videos. So he, he wants me to get a rinse, just a way to dry off. And uh, yeah, and he gave me this forever match, which I'm gonna use to start the fire uh, here today. Pack a strike anywhere matches, that's all I use. They're real good. You can strike them off a piece of wood. I usually use the matchbox, but in case this little strip wears out, it's good to have strike anywhere. Uh, and he gave me this beautiful knife. What a beautiful knife. Haven't used it yet, but it has uh, 
looks like some white tailed deer on the knife. Uh, anyways, beautiful. So, thanks, Kirk. And I'm going to use this forever match for the first time to get the fire going. And uh, we'll see how it is. So, the forever match, uh, which I haven't heard of before until Kirk sent me it, has a little striker out here. It's like a some sort of metal striker, I suppose. Uh, and what I did was I had an old Zippo lighter, and with that was some lighter, fu uh, lighter fluid. So I put the lighter fluid in there, a little drop of it, and it soaks this wick, as you'll see in a second. Might be tough for you to see. Right here, all I do is there's a bit of fuel there. I strike it like this off the striker. <laughs> there we go. I was going to say, but better start. I had it going at the house this morning. So it's pretty neat. It stays going in the wind. Like, look at that. It's like a little torch. Anyways, pretty neat rig. Oh, it's gone out now. That's it. The fire's going. Perfect. And they say it a little cool off before you stick it back in. So, a little cool. And there we have it. Thanks again, Kirk. So it's a beautiful day here in Newfoundland. Just below zero. Sun's out, and uh, you gotta love it. Winter's winding down, it's been mild lately, but there's still a fair bit of snow in the woods. I'm on an open exposed area here today, and I found a beer spot, a nice rock to have this fire on. So, that's what I'm doing. To be honest with you, I was in here last night for supper. Me and Heather came in with the two dogs. We had a bite to eat here. So I liked it and figured I'd come back. Okay, folks, fire's going. Deadly old fire. Sun's beaming down here too, it's splitting the rocks. Nice and warm. I barely need my hat on. Where are you going, Sam? Come back here and lie down. Lie down now. Okay, stay here. All right, uh, before I get going, taking out my teeth. <laughs> For those uh, who've been following the channel for a while now. You know that I'm missing two front teeth. It's a pretty big hole. You can probably pick a, kick a field goal through there if you wanted to. But uh, sack over here now. It's getting too warm for him, I think. Lie down. Lie down. Good boy. Uh, yeah, and when I talk for long times, I just take them out. Or, of course, uh, when I, whenever I'm in the woods, I never wear them. Uh, the only time I really wear them is when I'm out teaching at schools and stuff and uh, you can't really go in there and missing two front teeth or you'll never get a call again but uh, I just they annoy me I don't like having them in I don't like talking with them but only for special occasions uh, yeah, I lost my teeth about 10 years ago playing hockey took a, took a stick knocked them out you know typical Canadian playing hockey teeth gone yeah I don't know so that's how it is that's where they went that's a that's a question that's often asked and uh, yeah I don't mind showing my true colors and just going around gap tooth like I am here today uh, the channel everything's been going well uh, you know I've, I've had this channel now for roughly two years almost 
I haven't really been consistent on it because it wasn't, you know, a main objective for me at one point in time where now it's kind of become that for me and I, I enjoy putting the content up. But, you know, like anyone else, you know, you make, you create an art form because that's what I call this, you know, filmmaking or making these videos is just like painting a picture. It's the same thing. And, uh, you know, when you do that, you, sometimes you keep it behind closed doors for a while. And those who have watched all the videos on this channel, uh, you know my first video was the Avalon Wilderness Reserve trip. Uh, I did like a 120 kilometer hiking slash canoe trip on my own before any of the dogs came around. And uh, I did that trip in 2015. Took a little GoPro along with me. You know, I just wanted to document it and share it. And, uh, you know, to maybe like Heather and my family members. But, you know, I didn't know what my plans were. So I, I was sitting on it for one year. One year I sat on that video. And uh, I was up teaching in Labrador uh, in Cartwright. And I started editing some footage. And for anyone who doesn't know, come here, Zach, you don't need to go nowhere now. Lie down here. For anyone who doesn't know where Cartwright is or Labrador, it's the it's the mainland portion of Newfoundland and Labrador. Newfoundland's a little island, and Labrador's up above, connected to Canada uh, and Quebec, right next to Quebec. But I was up there teaching for a year in 2016, and I was messing around at my house one evening, uh, so I started editing that footage, and it looked all right. And I got back uh, after that school year, summer passed, and the following fall, I put that on my channel. And people enjoyed it. So I went with it and I kept putting videos up. So all I can say is, you know, uh, if you want to do something like this, you just got to start. You got to put it out there. And we're always worried about how others will think of, of it and, or will it be good enough? Is it worthy of YouTube, you know? Uh, but just do it and, uh, and keep doing it. So I put one out and I put a few more out. But my ambitions weren't, you know, it was just about sharing my content. I didn't know what I wanted to do. And now I'm here and I've gone on more trips and, you know, I've put more videos up and now the Newfoundland series is rolling through. And after the Newfoundland series, I have some winter trips I've done this, this winter right now. And uh, they're going to be up next. And uh, so there's lots of, lots of good content to come. I'm going to keep doing it because I love it. And I love sharing, you know, these adventures, sharing my passion, whether it be to inspire other people to go out and have a fire, you know, one weekend and boil the kettle and just, you know, sit down in the woods. Or whether it inspires them to go for a week trip or to go for two months like I did. I don't know. Or maybe it has nothing to do with the outdoors. Maybe it's just to go after a big dream in your life, you know. That's, that's why I do this, is, is to inspire and because I love it and I love editing and I love the filmmaking and slowing things down and capturing the outdoors. So that's that. But uh, yeah, I don't know if I got 20 odd videos up on the channel now, but things are going well and it wouldn't be going well without your support. And that's why today, uh, you know, I'm gonna return the favor and do a, a subscriber giveaway. So, that's, that's the plan here. Today, hey Zach, what are you doing bud? You comfy? Good boy. Beer's over chewing on wood, but uh, what else do I go, got going on? I got, uh, a lot of people have, you know, asked me in the comments, do you have a Patreon account set up? And no, I didn't. I had a little PayPal link. For anyone who wanted to support my content and you know how it is like a lot of time goes into coming out to do these trips you know and then doing them and coming back and editing and you know I have microphones and camera gear and, and stuff like that and uh, you know it takes time so I have created a Patreon account I'm gonna put the link above and uh, I'll explain how it works in a minute but, uh, you know, if you want to support me, do it. You know, I'm not forcing anyone. This is not forced upon nobody. It's just, if you enjoy my content, uh, you know, you can support me any way you want. It could be one dollar, it could be two, three, four, five, six, seven, it doesn't matter. Uh, but if you want to see more of these videos and see them more often, and, you know, and, and watch my editing and filmmaking improve, 
uh, and to help it improve, maybe consider, you know, support it. And how Patreon works is you you got to create an account on Patreon. It's really easy to do. And uh, you create an account and you can choose to, to make a monthly donation because I'm going to continue to put out videos now. It's, it's pretty much... I'm just going to keep going and, and put one out weekly is, is my plan now. But you can make a monthly donation. You can put $5 a month or whatever it is, whatever you want. This is your call. And you can sign up and every month, uh, at the start of each month, $5 will come out of your account and it will go to my Patreon. And, uh, and that will be one way to do it. If you don't want to do the monthly thing, uh, you can also go and just sign up give a one-time donation and once the money comes out of your account that one-time donation then you can cancel your patreon account so you can also do it that way uh, so you know for this lab for this Newfoundland series that I'm doing now I mean I had a plan originally you know I was talking to broadcasting companies and things didn't work out and I was gonna go that route because I thought it was you know I thought it was unique and legitimate and you know, I just really wanted to share it to the largest audience possible. Little did I realize that, you know, YouTube has, has a crazy big audience. And I love that. But uh, I was going to go put it on DVD, you know, make like a, make a DVD of the whole series and sell it for like 20, 25, 30 bucks. I don't know. But like, who has a DVD player this day and age? I certainly don't. I haven't had one in years. You know, I know some of you probably do. But, you know, I know a lot of people who don't. And uh, I don't even have cable, for crying out loud. <laughs> I'm a little weird, I guess, but, you know, we don't watch cable at our house. I watch, you know, we have Netflix, we have Apple TV, but other than, you know, uh, I have the NHL package on, on Apple TV to watch some hockey games. Uh, it comes with our cable, uh, with, our, with our internet, sorry. So we can watch some hockey games, and, uh, you know, Heather watches some Netflix. I don't, I, I never watch that. I watch YouTube if I watch anything, so... Uh, you know, putting it on DVD or, or doing something like that wouldn't have worked out, I don't think, because enough people don't have a DVD player. So that's why I chose to go to YouTube route, and that's why, you know, as I said, I put a lot of time into that series, more than I would for an average YouTube video. I really want to make it more like a film or a movie, uh, or a docu-series, as I've been calling it. So yeah, if you, you know, I'll leave the ball in your court, but you can do it through Patreon. Said, and I'll put the link below and whatever and you can go check it out and consider it uh, and if you don't want to go that route I have like a little PayPal support button and you can go in and you can just give me you know whatever you make a you make up your PayPal account and you give me some sort of donation I guess we'll call it and uh, yeah but that's the balls in your court there and uh, I appreciate it something else with patreon I forgot to mention is that how it works is I'm gonna give like behind the scenes access to certain things uh, for people who support my patreon um, so like I'll put in maybe some old video clips from back in the day and some other things or stuff I haven't put in uh, other videos or maybe in the Newfoundland series uh, after the Newfoundland series is over, I'm going to go through all the gear and kit I took with me on the trip. I'll probably put that on Patreon only. Uh, you know, and the people who support or want to support can see that those videos that way. And I'll also set, like, goals where if I get... I think what I put there was if I get 30 people support me through Patreon, uh, I'm going to give away a, a print, a picture... I take pictures on my expedition, so I'll give away like an 8x10 print. I'll give away some piece of gear I've used on a previous expedition, which still functions, and you guys can use it. And I'll like take the dogs out for a day and I cook a meal of your choice. So you'll see that when you go on there, and I'll do something like that once I hit 30 Patreon. So it's like a reward uh, for you guys support me that way too. So anyways, go on, take a look. Uh, you can consider it. I'm still ironing, ironing some kinks out there with setting it up, but it's pretty much it's ready to go, and, and you can go check it out as soon as you're done watching this video. And, uh, and I'll put the PayPal one down there as well if you don't want to fool around with this whole Patreon thing. 
how many times I'm gonna see a Patreon in this video. I'm done with it right now. <laughs> Anyways, so yeah, go check that out. But uh, yeah, and like I said before, I got the ads in the video now, and I don't wanna to put too many in there. Like for an hour video, I usually got like four ads or something in there. A little less than what you'd see on TV. But you know, everyone pretty much has them in there these days, and you know, I'm, I know most of you, under, you understand that. You know, I put a lot of effort. I've been flat out with this stuff. I've been editing the Newfoundland series, and you know, I had like 70 hours of footage or something crazy with that trip, and a lot of it was useless. But nonetheless, it was a lot to go through, and uh, you know, getting out and. And just like you know, organizing my channel and everything else, like I've been, I've been hectic with the stuff, and I've been putting out a lot of videos lately, and uh, there's a lot more to come. So yeah, you know, so the ads and that ad revenue, it just you know gives me a little motivation to keep doing it, other than using all my own time and getting nothing from it. So, anyways, I hope you don't mind that either. But I'm gonna kill this right now. This topic is done and over with. Uh, we're going to move on to the subscriber giveaway. Uh, that's what I came out here to do. It's basically a big thank you to everyone who's kind of jumped on ship, you know, on my channel and uh, who have enjoyed it. Uh, it's also for all my social media supporters because I'm going to share this there on the Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, uh, you know. So I just want to give something to you guys for supporting me. And, you know, a lot of people came over from Joe Robinette's channel. Joe gave me a shout-out. Uh, and, and, you know, for all of you taking the time to check out that link and coming over, like, I really, really appreciate it. And that's what also continues to inspire me to get out and do this stuff. So it's going to be a thank you. Uh, a thank you giveaway. Uh, i got a couple notes made up here just on things I wanted to talk about regarding the giveaway. I can rant and roar and I'll forget things, so this is the best way to do it. To uh, do two. Where are we to here now? So what I got to, what I got, I'm gonna have five prizes for this subscriber giveaway. Five prizes, that's exciting. Uh, the first prize is a big one. You're really going to appreciate it. I've had it for a while, and I'm going to break that out in a second. Uh, but, hold on there now, sorry, I'm looking at something wrong. Okay, yeah, so the first prize for this giveaway is going to be dun -dun -dun -dun, a jet boil. So, if you haven't seen a jet boil before, uh, I'm going to just do a quick little tutorial now in a minute and show you how it works. But basically, uh, it's a device that you can quickly boil water in like two minutes. Like it's extremely quick or less. You don't need a fire. And uh, it's not gonna come with this little fuel canister. It's like a little 100 gram fuel canister made by Jetboil. MSR almost makes them. You can buy them at any outdoor store. Uh, I'd say in North America and you can get the equivalent uh, over in Europe or Australia or wherever else you come from, you know, anywhere in the world. Uh, so like for me, I'm giving this away, of course, because of all the support and everything else. And I just want to thank you guys, as I said, but I don't really use this. I haven't used this in like a year and a half. It's pretty much brand new. I got it uh, when it came out and, you know, I thought I'd use it more. Like I thought I'd go out for a quick cup of coffee or a cup of tea, but I've came to realize that Although this thing is remarkably great, an amazing piece of kit. It was like, it's 140 bucks brand new to buy one. So they're not cheap, uh, but I just, I like the fire. Like I love coming out and having a fire. You know, unless I'm somewhere where I can't have an open fire, I have like a little MSR stove, I'll bring that. Uh, but I like having a fire, I like the flames, I like the heat, you all know that. Uh, I like the crackle of the company. Especially, you know, a lot of times if I come out of my own, hey, it's, it's it's just so soothing to have that that fire ripping away. But uh, so I haven't used this a whole lot, but it's great. Uh, it has a little indicator on the side, so like it shows when you're almost 
well, it, it shows the water continually boiling. So, like, it's warming up, it's warming up, it's warming up, and then when it, when this full thing turns orange, your water has been completely boiled. And, uh, like, I tested it out a couple days ago. Still works fine. No issues. I've used this on a couple small trips, like I said. Uh, if I had any beef with it at all, it, you can't cook any food in it. It's only one setting, and it's, like, through the roof extreme boil if you were to put like a can of chili in there it would just burn the crap out of it <laughs> in like a second so it's not meant for like simmering and stuff like that and that's kind of why I like my little MSR stove that I have uh, that you've seen like in the Newfoundland series and other videos but uh, you know I could have held on to this and used this for hikes in places but I'm gonna give it away to you guys and uh, it's it boils up to two cups at a time, has a little hand piece to hold hold it with, and it's like there's a material around the edges so you're not burn the hands off yourself after the water's been boiled. Uh, so real cool, and uh, once you're done, it all goes right back in, like this. Right, and it all goes back in, and I did it the wrong way, but basically it goes in, you put the top on it, and you have everything contained, real, you know, compact, not taking up a lot of space in your kit, and you got your portable fire kit. So, it's a bit windy, I don't know if that's messing up the sound here, but if it is, I'll put some titles in. So that's prize number one. With prize number one, you're also going to get a print of mine. Uh, this one's of Saku in an area of St. John's, Newfoundland. I almost lost my picture. Uh, Kitty Bitty, beautiful place, right by the Atlantic Ocean. And uh, this is a caribou I've seen on one of my expeditions. If you watch the man alone in the wilderness of Newfoundland or something, it's a video I put up last year, you'll see this caribou in the footage of it. But this is a picture, and I'll also throw in some other pictures from expeditions, maybe. I don't know which one I'm going to put in. Uh, I don't know, maybe I'll put, I'll put some pictures in over this. And... No, I'm not going to do a vote because that's going to be tricky. I'm going to choose the picture you get, but it'll be a nice one. Uh, so it could be two of these. But with the jet boil, it's going to be one picture. And you're going to get a sticker, a Newfoundland Explorer sticker. It's kind of my logo I've had made up for a little while. Uh, and a buddy of mine, Mark Connolly, done that. He, uh, beautiful logo, has me fishing, has a Newfoundland flag on the back, uh, has some woods. Sack is there wagging his tail, and uh, yeah, I got no words or nothing on that. Like, uh, I don't got Justin Barber or Newfoundland Explorer because my mentality behind that one is if you're from Newfoundland and Labrador, uh, you know, we're all Newfoundland and Labrador explorers, we're all NL explorers, you know, we're Labrador explorers. If we're from Newfoundland, we're Newfoundland explorers. If we're from, uh, you know, British Columbia, we're British Columbia explorers. You know, we're all explorers. We all get out and we all enjoy it. And I didn't want to be, you know, putting nothing flashy like my Justin Barber on the front of it. Like, who am I to do that, you know? So, uh, so first prize, jet boil with a sticker and a pitcher. So, prize number one. Then I'm gonna give four more prizes. Uh, and those four prizes are just going to be a sticker and a picture of my choice. And, uh, yeah, maybe I'll give two stickers with each prize. Two stickers, a picture, and two stickers, a picture, and the Jet Wolf prize number one. So five prizes. That's that. Where's my little sheet of paper I just had? I got that last, do I? What's going on, Zach? How you making out, buddy? Join the heat. Yeah, the sun is warm. It's warm sun, isn't it? It's almost the first day of spring. First day of spring's coming up. Uh, how you doing, Bear? Doing all right, baby? So yeah, 
Anyway, it's nice to talk to you guys like this for a change uh, in a video because you know all the Newfoundland series that was done back in 2017 and like I didn't know where that footage is going on YouTube here or there I didn't know so I wasn't addressing you always in the same way but it's good to get out here again and see you up close and personal and in real time or somewhat real time I'll probably post this video in a few days but uh, yeah so back to the giveaway uh, basically five prizes uh, and I'm gonna what I'm gonna get you to do is go on to the channel this video and in order to be included in the draw which I'll do through like the random generator website where I can go put all the people who comment and put your names in there and it'll be randomly generated and I'll pick number one number two number three number four number five so it'll be very fair and I'll probably do that in a video uh, as well to show you you know how it went down I'll do that in the house or something uh, but I'm going to get you to be included you must like this video you must so hit that thumbs up smash it uh, you must like the video you must of course subscribe to my channel I would really appreciate if you could share the video uh, or any other video actually if you can share other videos from my channel like preferably the Newfoundland series because like I'm really enjoying that and I'm really like sh enjoying showing my passion and like how I love that adventure so much and how I love you know the, the woods and waters of our province so if you could share that a video from that channel uh, from that series it would be great but any video like a video you like go ahead and share it uh, that's a bonus really helps me and really helps the channel so I appreciate that so yeah you have to like subscribe share if you can and I just want you to comment below briefly and tell me how you'd use the jet boy like you take it out on a hike or you go after work and you have a cup of tea or you take your kids out or you are planning to go on a canoe trip this summer or you're gonna go snowshoeing next week or cross-country skiing and have a have a coffee or a hot chocolate or whatever you like to have as a hot drink or like a Lipton cup of soup <laughs> uh, yeah like so something like that just just comment and tell me how you're gonna use it how would you use the jet boil if you want it so five prizes again just to reiterate what I just said I want you to like the video I want you to subscribe to the channel if you can share a video be great if not whatever and you have to comment if you don't if you do not comment and say how you're gonna use it briefly like it only has to be like a sentence you know what I mean and if you're not good with English like do your best if I notice that your English is not great and you're having a hard time doing it that's cool I'll still include you in the draw okay uh, so like if because I you know some people write and they say like I hope you understand the message and I usually I do sometimes it's tricky but uh, if I notice that I'll give you the benefit of the doubt because your English is not great so yeah that's that's all good so those are the things you have to do and maybe I'll just I'll put those in the link below or the description below the video and I'll just sum that up again so you know it's all clear if I'm blabbering on here but that's it I think we're all good to go I'm excited to do that uh, I'm probably gonna do the draw I'm gonna give it maybe a week and a half two weeks there's a lot going on as I said like editing this series and getting that out hoping to have the next episode up up this Sunday coming so I'm gonna say two weeks and then I'll give a heads up on my YouTube community page. If you go to my pay, my YouTube channel, you go over to community, you'll see I've been making all these posts lately, like, you know, when videos are coming out. Or like I shared a podcast I done the other day with Paul Kirtley. Uh, I'll put that link below. Like, you know, I post with me and the dogs and stuff are out and doing things. Anyways, I'll post and be like... Uh, giveaway video is coming up soon so stay tuned you'll know when that's coming to see if you won the prize and uh, yeah so roughly two weeks and that's it I hope I didn't make that confusing this is my first time doing this so bear with me uh, 
you know, once it's all done, uh, I'll figure out the addresses. I had to send all this stuff. I'll get you to send me an email, and uh, we'll figure all that out after. You can send me the address, and I'll ship things off then. And uh, hopefully it's not too long until you get it. But that's it. Uh, yeah. I'm going to sit back now. Fire's almost burned out. My phone's ringing. What an interruption. That's Heather. I'll call her back in a minute. But, uh, yeah. So I'm going to sit back. I'm going to have my lunch. I got a bowl of rabbit stew there and have a cup of coffee and head on back to the house and then get back into editing uh, episode 7 of Man and Dog Through the Newfoundland Wilderness. Next episode's going to be good. There's going to be lots of good fishing and we're back in the uh, you know off the beaten path into some thick country, some thick woods, challenging but absolutely beautiful country uh, and I can't wait to show that so that's it. Okay, quick tutorial of the old jet boil here. So we have our our jet boiler ourselves, which is sort of like this uh, to keep this bottom element protected. Uh, what you got here, you can also use this little as pieces a little cup, I think they say, if you wanted to, and it has a measuring uh, gauge there that says actually one cup so that's good you have a little measuring cup too that comes with it so you take that off uh, you take this piece which is like your little that's where the flame comes out through you clip it in there's two little notches here you find that spot you see here on this there's two little pieces you line them up and you snap it like this that's on there uh, good to go not coming off that's the first step then you want to open this little piece so this is your fuel this is what controls you know there's a plus and a minus you obviously want to go plus to turn it up back to minus to turn it off it's off right now so I take my fuel canister like I said you can get these anywhere you can get bigger ones too but I like this oh actually you don't want to get any uh, one bigger than this because then it won't fit in here you can still use bigger ones I believe but they won't fit in here, so like you won't be able to have it all in one place. You'd have to have your fuel can in another spot. So, pop this off, and you screw it in, righty tighty. Oh, screw that on. You wait for a little. There you go. That's it. You don't want it too tight. Just snug. Now it also comes with this little thing right here. Uh, this is a little stabilizer. So that clicks, clips into the bottom of your gas canister. So it keeps it nice and flat and stable. And I've actually taken this because I use this can with my other MSR stove. And this little orange stabilizer has been across Newfoundland with me and across Labrador. So I don't know, I might order another one and give you a brand new one, because I'm weird and I don't like giving away things that have been with me on these long trips. But, especially this thing, I don't know, I had a certain weird attachment to it. <laughs> so I'm not, I, I may or may not throw that in there, regardless, uh, that's a nice little tripod. And if you want, you can put pans and pots on this. But like I said, there's no, there's no real simmer. It's like full tilt heat or nothing, right? So you can put this on here instead of the, the canister and it clips in and it works the same way. And then you got like a bit of a burner and you have these things here and you can lay your pan on it. But I'm not gonna show you that way. You can figure that out when you get the jet boil. So now that we're ready to go, you put your put your water in there, you put your top on, and 
there's a little black button over here, a little piezoelectric switch that creates a little spark. And uh, I'm going to turn my fuel on. You can hear it. And I hit that button. And as you can hear, the jet boil is now working. But there's nothing in it, so I don't want to burn the bottom of it. So it's off. So I should turn it back to the minus all the way. It is now off. You don't want to unscrew this if that's still on turned on. We know this, right? We should know these things. So we turn it back all the way to the minus. Now I can take my piece off like that. Watch your hands around here. It does get hot if you use it to boil water. Uh, I put my little protector cup thing back on. Uh, now I'm going to unscrew this like so. Fold this over. And now I'm going to take this off. I'm going to put the top back on my canister, fold up the little stabilizer, and finally I'm going to put it all back in here. And that got hot pretty quick. Whew. Uh, yeah, so I think this is the right way. This is confusing, but I must say. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Do, 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 do. I haven't done this in a while. Honest with you. Okay, so that's in there nice and good. Ish. And this is supposed to fit in there. I got something a little messed up. Let's try this again. Do, 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 do. do, do. Actually, I think this thing goes down first. Is what the issue is here. That goes down. This goes down. your jet boil. Top's a little loose. Maybe you could put some tape or something on that. I used to find if I took it in my bag and this tipped over, everything will come out. So you could probably get a little bit of tape or something to keep on that just to keep it down. But here you have it. Here's your jet boil. There's going to be a lucky winner. I wish you the best of luck. Here's a little demonstration I done back at the house just to show you its potential.
you doing, Bear? Ready to go? You want to go, don't you? <laughs> so the dogs are geared up now. They want to get moving on the run again and do some exploring. Uh, beautiful day here now. One of the last days of winter. Snow is just gently falling down. Flurries come and go. Awesome. Nice, cool, and crisp. There's a nice feed, a nice hot drink. Back home now. So I want to thank everyone again for all the support, you know, and you know those who have been with the channel from the get-go and all the newcomers, you know, watching it grow and it's been fun. So exciting I love sharing these experiences with you guys and you know it's been great and, and people you know thanks to those who have sent gifts people who have sent gifts along uh, after this Newfoundland series is over I'm gonna have a couple episodes up on a six-day trip a winter trip I did just me and Saku not long ago probably a month ago and there I'll talk about a couple other gifts I got and so I appreciate all that and uh, some people who who have even donated to the channel and and support it you know it's it's been great you guys have gone above and beyond and you know I love sharing my passion for the adventure getting out in the woods and beating around and uh, I love it and especially showing you the, the outdoor life here in Newfoundland and Labrador it's, it's wicked right and that Labrador series I'm hoping I'm gonna have that up later on as well and that was a uh, thousand kilometer trip I did this past summer and fall so there's lots of good stuff uh, to come in the future on this channel uh, and five big prizes up for grabs in the giveaway so uh, and the first one's a real nice one and you know and I got some pictures and stickers and all that good stuff in there so I can't wait can't wait to read your comments beneath that's gonna be great real excited for that so uh, that's it. I guess good luck. Hope you uh, there's gonna be five lucky winners. And that's it for now. I'll see you in episode number seven this Sunday night. That's it. We'll catch you in the next one, guys. What do you say, Zach? Say goodbye. Hey, say goodbye, Zach. Hey, come here. Say goodbye. I'm back down now again. I talk too much. <laughs> All right. See you later. Safely reach the other side of New York City Fair. Despite of wind and rain and stormy weather. Oh, you're a little tangled up, aren't you, Bear? Come on, my girl. Let's go. Yeah. Hey. Hold on. I need my bag on first. As far as California, I used to get some letters then, but that was long ago. They always spoke of Ireland every time. There's a dance, gotta have old beer ski tied on because she'll be gone for days. You never know. No, she likes to run off, eh? And she could be gone for an hour or two. She'll always come back, but I prefer to keep her around camp. I don't want to uh, extend this trip any longer. I'll let you go now. We could be hiking for the rest of the afternoon. So. That's it. There will be dance of no and never more will roll. There will be rolling in the hail, they will ski in the day, the boys come roll. There will be dance of no Boys home.